I must say that Black Myth Wukong not only has proven to be a masterpiece of a game in terms of gameplay, but story as well. And the story is separated in chapters each with its own unique art style cinematic. The one I want to focus on is Chapter 3's ending animation. As soon as you beat Yellowbrow, you will be shown his story representing the greed theme. Let's start by watching it, and I will explain what is happening at the end. I, Yellowbrow, fight solely for myself. Oh. 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 Carried in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shanzu. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends? This animation sent shivers down my spine. It's truly captivating in both its grotesque and beautiful elements. Now if you pay close attention, you'll notice that in the animation, the person who first attacks the creature is being controlled by it, to incite the others. His clots are being pulled. In the game the creature in question is actually Yellowbrow. Yellowbrow and Jin Chansi, who is Wukong's master, had a debate about whether humans are fundamentally good or evil. Yellowbrow, who is convinced that humans lean toward evil, transformed into this creature to make his point. For Yellowbrow, the main goal is to win the argument, so he manipulates the situation to prove himself right. Once again, I proved it to you. But Jin Chansi sees through him. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means? and ends. Just from this 4 minutes animation, you can see how masterfully they managed to incorporate the character's personality and story. I'm talking about Yellowbrow. This is why the game is so good, because we get to understand the enemies we are facing, making them all the more complex and compelling. And we see this through the entire game. Even the nameless enemies that respawn after you rest have an interesting backstory. And the variety in all of these enemy designs is astonishing. At every corner I was encountering a new minion or boss with different attack patterns that was constantly keeping me engaged. On top of all of this, the game graphics are breathtaking. Every location feels different. The temples and the statues have so many small details that you can just spend hours just looking and admiring the art design of the game. I mean just look at this area and even the ground. I just can't believe my eyes of the level of creativity that was put into the design. This is a game that truly makes you stop and admire the scenery. You can see the love that the developers have put into it. This is an example of a game that prioritizes the customer, that delivers us a complete product, a full package, with incredible art design and truly fun mechanics. And just like Elden Ring and Baldur's Gate 3, this is another template for future developers to take notice of. For those of you who are looking for a game with immersive storytelling and breathtaking action, Black Myth Wukong will definitely blow you away. And for those of you who are already playing the game, I am really curious about your experience so far. What do you think of the cinematics and the story of the game? Also, if you have difficulty beating Yellowbrow, you can check my guide on how to beat him. I will leave a link in the description, and if you liked this video, consider subscribing.